Hey, this is Josh Gwynn. I'm back with another course. And in this course, I am going to show you something that has been on my mind and I've been meaning to record a video on this. Um, and this is how to clean up your Gmail. Um, too many times you can see my Gmail account right now is 682 emails, which is just totally ridiculous. And um, <laughs> when it gets to this point, it starts to stress me out. And so I really need to uh, clear it out and I'm going to show you a couple of ways that I found that this works really really well uh, and I'm going to show you a couple of apps that I have added to Gmail that I think will help you so anyway um, if you have this problem with too much bullshit in your inbox this video is for you so here we go um, the first thing that I want to tell you to do is if you have a specific email that you get a bunch of emails from that you want to just delete um, like notifications or something like that then I'm gonna show you how to do that uh, there's one particular service that sends me reviews from one of my clients and I get a ton of these you'll see how many of them in a second so you can see a ton of these look at this just craziness right so I want to delete all of these I don't want to keep any of these um, so I'm gonna select this option and this will select 50 on the page but if you have a lot more than 50 so you can see I have about 65 which not a lot more than 50 but you want to delete them all at once rather than try to delete them um, in multiple different batches especially if you have a bunch so I'm going to select all of these conversations right so if you could select all the conversations can select all 65 I'm just going to go ahead and delete these because I don't need these so boom done right that reduced it already already we're down to 600 so it's getting better the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is this is a trick and I'm not sure who showed me this or where I saw this but this works really well for getting rid of emails that have been sitting in your inbox for days and days and days that you may not need to check all of them or maybe you want to archive them or something like that uh, so here is what you do with those um, you can type in a command to the search bar that's older than and there it is older underscore then and then colon 3 D that's for three days so basically what this is saying is older than three days right so these are all of the emails that are older than three days now it's a lot more than 96 I can tell you that but I don't need all of these and I want to get rid of um, these I want to get them out of my primary inbox so what I'm gonna do and what you can do and this doesn't delete them so this will not this won't get you out of sorting them because they'll still be unsorted in your archive folder but what you can do is you can archive these emails so I'm gonna go ahead and click this button click this button so that's gonna that's selected one of 50 but I wanna select all conversations that match so this is going to select all the conversations in this selection now um, so this is everything older than three days so I want to get rid of everything older than three days um, so this button right here which is an archive button now you could mark all of these as red and that's going to uh, we'll see what that does I'll tell you what I don't want to do that you could mark all of them as red I'm gonna show you how to get that option but I don't want to do that what I want to do is I want to go ahead and archive these so they're out of my inbox now I still need would need to come back and sort them later but for right now I'm gonna get them out of my inbox by clicking the archive button so this is gonna take a second probably because it's a lot of them so here we go it's loading it's trying to work it's saying geez Josh how the hell did you let 600 emails get in your account without doing anything with them so it's gonna take a second to delete them but it will delete them in just a second and once that happens I'll just shut up till that happens how about that okay there we go so you can see all of those conversations have been archived Now you can undo that if you want you can learn more about what that does if you want if you click this it'll tell you what does archiving your conversations do again it doesn't get rid of them it just saves them and gets them out of your inbox so um, you can remove from your Gmail but keep them in all mail tab that's where they go in the all mail tab so it's like moving them a filing cabinet instead of putting them in the trash can so we all know that people have filing cabinets with stuff that they don't ever look at now I have one of those but here's what's important to notice in my inbox now I only have 33 total emails so I'm not wanting to show you how to get to inbox zero here just to reduce significantly what your 
uh, what you're looking at. Now I usually go in and clear out this promotions tab and this uh, social tab as well. I should have done that before I archive these. These are just like my Facebook notifications and ad approvals and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to delete these. I don't need any of these. All right, so that's empty. So now we're down even further. And then I'm going to go into this. Um, and we're going to uh, we're going to archive all these promotional emails. So we're going to archive all of that. Boom, done. All right, so we're down to 32. So that's pretty good. Now, I, this is not a substitute, again, for creating folders and sorting them into folders. You can see I have some folders down here that I sort stuff into. But it is a good way to clear out your inbox pretty quickly if you have a bunch of trash in there that you don't want to keep in there. So hopefully that helps you. That alleviates. I already feel, whew, already feel less stressed from that after just removing that. So anyway, I hope that helps you. Um, if you would like some more tips on business, online business, um, go to my website. It's at joshgwen.com. If you go there on the front page of my website, or I'm working on actually changing this website out, uh, I'm going to do a new design to make it look a little cleaner and better. So if you get to this website and you don't see this, just look for my 30-day home business checklist. I'll make it very obvious. But if you go to this in the meantime, and you want this 30-day home business checklist, this is a checklist for building a profitable business from home. You click get the free checklist and you get it for free. So this is just in the interim, but if you go to the website after this, just look for it. So hopefully this helps you. Um, my inbox is already making me feel less stressed when it's down at 33. Now you can also do, here's another thing you can do. You can do older than, now you can do one day if you wanted to. Now that would make me really unstressed. So let's do this. Let's, think, let's go one day here. So everything older than one day. So we're going to take all of that. We're going to select all the conversations that match this. And we are going to archive older than one day. Let's see what that does for me. Again, it's going to take a second because there's still a lot of them in there, believe it or not. Whew, look at that, inbox 12. So we are down to 12. Now if I wanted to, if I wanted to really feel good about myself, I could mark all of these as red if I wanted to. So boom, mark all as red, and now I got inbox zero. If you wanted to do that, you can do that, but I hadn't actually read all those, so um, I may not want to do that. But anyway, that is how you get down to a very low inbox count without deleting your emails in your Gmail to make it more manageable. I'm going to do some more uh, video lectures on this if people like it. So uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up or give me a comment or subscribe and uh, I'll do more of these if you like them and uh, there's some other tips that I can show you for uh, Gmail that give you some apps that you can install that will help you further streamline your work email process. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it.